Maurizio Souza. The electronic clipboard, eh? That makes me feel old. Beautiful. Still in play, though. Russians didn't know much about that in terms of defence. <laughs> not bad, is he, for a player that's maybe not quite up to the standard? Great hit from Wallace Souza. Not questioning his ability, his athleticism. What I'm questioning is the fact that under pressure, I think those two players, number 18 and number 7 for Brazil, will make more mistakes than the rest of them. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Favourites to take this game. It was uh, Russia that were favourites to take this one. But not strong favourites by any means. Now there's the Russian block. Functioning well. Can they do it again? Yes, they can. And there, a third time for the job to be finished. A dig beautifully done Russia needing two goes at that one and Russia I think have played very very well indeed through that mid phase and it looked as if Brazil might just run away with this entire match Russia have other ideas faces in set two they're just a bit bewildered here going Russia's way beautiful shot Nosenko makes the kill but I think has he been penalized did he step on the three meter line back line player well he didn't I'm really not sure what the problem was there because that ball was in by quite a distance Russia coming back strongly each time. Everything about this Russian performance has improved. Just something to think about. Brilliant response again. Both teams playing right meters and 14, and for those of you that know your conversions, you know that means seven feet tall. Great shot. Well, the substitution's worked. Pretty tame serve from Bonato, but it's worked. And Russia now back in to a side-out match. Great shot past a three-man play is that he's got Nosenko one side of the court, Leonenko the other side of the court. So the, the Brazilian block is going to have to commit one way or the other. I, I think this is going to Leonenko at four. Oh, and it's a shank pass off a poor serve. Alves has absolutely smashed that ball, but it's come off the net and gone sideways. And Leonenko just a little too relaxed on that pass wandering backwards and away from it and shanks it to the crowd and Panchenko I think will be ruining that timeout now Alves again scores level and Brazil stick it in the net but they've got themselves back into a side out match now Alves has done a great job there a little bit lucky with his second serve but at least he went for it now then Brazil must side out to stay in the tournament. They do so. And immediately, the responsibility for scoring goes back to the Russians. They have to now try and defend this next Brazilian service. Exciting end to this fourth set. Bonato it is. Well, it's not a strong serve. 
Russia should be able to get an attack out of this quite easily. They do. Nosenko gets his man. Pegs the block and gets the point. Now then, Russia, will they gamble? There's a massive block in the front line. They've got Bagre, who is a real quality server when he gets it in court, but he missed his last serve. But this is a big front line for Russia. Bagre goes for it. It's in play. The block will come into this. Here's the chance for Russia to go to the gold medal game. And it's that man, Nosenko, that takes it. A very, very well-controlled shot under severe pressure there. And Nosenko didn't go for the hit flat out. He went for the space on court, and he's done it. And a wry smile from the Brazilian captain tells it all. He was beaten on the cross court, and ultimately Brazil beaten by a team that play at a slightly higher level. They did so well to knock Russia off their game in the second set, and it nearly worked for the match. But in the end, Russia recovering their composure and certainly getting back to their impressive power game. And they move through to the gold medal match where they will play either Canada or the Ukraine. Panchenko's team have done it. Well, Russia now emerges the clear gold medal favorites at this university yard. They took